Hey everyone, this is Nate from Grower's House and today we're showing off a new light that was just introduced to the indoor growing scene by Apache Tech LED Grow Lighting Company. Now this is their AT600 unit which is much larger than the units that you've seen the AT120s um, available before and those are the ones that were developed in conjunction with NASA about three years ago and this unit is now coming in called the AT600 LED Grow Light and we measured at the wall and this guy is hovering close to around 700 watts of actual power at the wall and we're going to do a spectral analysis of this light with our spectral radiometer and do a footprint analysis with uh, our PAR meter um, over a 4x4 footprint because that's what this light is actually rated for a true 4x4 footprint to replace a thousand watt light now the spectrum put in this light that was sent to us is one that's optimized for the flowering phase, although it can also be used during the vegetative growth phase. Now, I'm gonna turn it on for a second, and I'm hoping the camera can resolve the colors that are gonna come out of this light, but it's extremely bright. So let's see if this works. As you can see here, to the visual eye, there are bands of white and red, and that's how the light comes off to us. And you'll see in the spectral analysis that there are actually more colors in the blues as well that are coming off that we just can't see. Now, this is a pretty big light, as you can see in compared relative to myself. It weighs, gosh, we're probably thinking about close to 60 pounds. And, you know, it has four built-in fans on each side for eight fans total to make sure it cools the LED. And that, they say, it'll keep the LED at about 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a very cool temperature for this light. And this light is completely made in the USA. Um, they assemble it here in California at Apache Tech's uh, warehouse. So the spectrum of this LED is optimized to increase, increase the yields and produce specific compounds by the plants it's set up for over that four by four footprint. And this light is also UL approved, which to our knowledge, this is the first LED grow light that is UL approved, um, which is a big step for, you know, essentially becoming one of the uh, more legitimate lights in the industry. So this light also has a limited lifetime warranty, and it operates from 100 all the way to 277 volts, and you can, it comes with the 120 and 240 volt plug. So. Um, out of the box, this one you can just plug it in and it'll auto recognize 120 or 240 and you'd be off growing. Other than that, let's throw this under our meters and show you some data. Now here's some of our test data. As you can see, uh, we measured this light in a standard wall, wall plug, a 120 volt. We measured the amperage coming out, which was about 6.4 amps. And we also measured the wattage, which was 742 watts at the wall. Now. Lastly, you'll also see um, a ratio that we have put in all of our tests starting from the last one we did, which is the average amount of PAR in our 4x4 footprint, read as those 33 points that we measured, over the total amount of watt draw at the wall. So um, to come to that calculation, we simply added up all the numbers, and this is at the 24 inch height, and then put them over the total watt draw at the wall. And now if we uh, scroll down, we can see the analysis from the spectral radiometer showing us what the spectrum is looking like coming off of this light. So you can see that it is the relative intensity is much higher around that 660 nanometer, which is the red spectrum that's coming off of the light. So you can also see to the left a smaller bump around the 440 nanometer, which is the bluish spectrum. And you can see everything in between, more of the greens and the yellows. So this light is really a flowering dominant light, although it does have those other spectra so that you can use this light from seed to harvest. So um, that being said, let's move down to our 4x4 footprint analysis, where we measured this light at 18 inches above the footprint, 24 inches above the footprint, and 30 inches above the footprint. And you can see the 33 points we measured. And uh, this should hopefully help you gauge how high you want this light above the canopy for a good distribution versus intensity.
Other than that, um, please click on the link below in the description where you can download the infographic and PDF of this data and you can analyze it a little bit more closely with a little bit more time. And uh, other than that, come back to our blog and our site for more information on the newest grow growing technology. This is Nate from Grower's House. Have a good one.